As we are already expecting how Denivo will gonna be hampering the performance of Gotham Knights on PC, but 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 surprise surprise, the game is actually having some decent performance issues even on the latest generation of consoles. PlayStation 5 is suffering from huge performance dips like 28 FPS, although there is no 60 FPS mode either on consoles. Who the hell would think that owning a PS5 will not be able to enjoy, uh, you know, a decent 60 FPS experience? Well, this is what IGN has to say. IGN has recently uploaded a video. Video, and here we are reacting to it. As these issues are predominantly not related to a CPU GPU balance scenario per se, but more issues within the code base itself. Exactly, the code base issue is literally the game coding, the game engine is certainly kind of unoptimized even for playstation 5 guys uh, kind of moving on to ps5 i think ps5 will nevertheless get patched there is just no issues uh, talking about playstation the thing is guys pc users will gonna be the one who will gonna be suffering the most and probably gtx 1660 ti users who knows their fate because 1660 ti is the minimum system requirement to run the game let's see what is the you know so they finally have uh, what what the fuck they are literally using a RTX 2070 and just let's see More consistent nofts but I'll close out my thoughts on this big problem area at the end. So the game is kind of, you know, uh, running at 4K 30fps cap, but the cap is no longer maintained due to Denuvo DRM. We are seeing FPS just going below 30 at times. Let's see what IGN people has to say. The only big difference is resolution. Both PlayStation 5 and uh, Certainly, certainly, certainly. The resolution will gonna be the major difference and the deciding factor. As you can see that uh, I will leave it to you which basically looks the best. Uh, let us know in the comment section PS5 or the Xbox. But other than that, as far as we have seen that uh, the Denu will gonna be major, you know, thing which will gonna be hampering the performance. But other than that, the frame rate dips are, are quite kind of observable in some of the areas in uh, basically this game, even Xbox Series X suffers the same fate, uh, facing the performance dips and everything. So, uh, if we just see the PC performance, uh, they are obviously using RTX 2070, and uh, let's see basically how does it perform. Very close to on a single thread, that's one area they need to work on to multi thread. But in addition to this, the performance just doesn't improve, even if you give it the best GPU possible. Here, running at 4K on an RTX 3090 from Destin. We can see that just running through the opening section, this is at max settings admittedly, but this is an RTX 3090, significantly more powerful than anything these consoles are putting out, and it still hovers somewhere in the 40s. Come on guys, this is a terrible impact from Denivo. just terrible, I do not have any words. As they have said, RTX 4090 is also suffering the same fate basically of the Denivo. The FPS dips are just terrible, 49 to 50, even FPS goes to 38 at times. This is absolutely unacceptable. Impactful versus running at 60 FPS, then lurching down to sub 30 as you can see here. Yeah, but I think a quick patch to at least... I do not think any patch will gonna be fixing these sort of issues. The Denuvo is the major culprit. So let us know in the comment section, guys, what do you guys actually think about this performance review by IGN? I'm kind of disappointed by Warner Bros that they have actually, you know, made a game, but uh, but but with very less optimization, which is just absolutely terrible. Uh, let us know in the comment section and there is one day to launch. Let's see what happens. Peace out.